Oh, All right. That sounds so pleasant. Oh, hi. Hey, Leah. <laughs> hi. How are you feeling? I am feeling like I'm going to have a baby. <laughs> July 9th. July 9th. I wish you would have come yesterday. It would have been a really cool birthday, but no, today's the day. Why? Why yesterday? 7, 8, 15. 7 plus 8 equals 15. That's cool. That would have been cool. This is good. This is just as good. This is just good. I looked it up and uh, today was Donald Rumsfeld's birthday. <laughs> It's a pretty special day. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> Grandma, any idea who Donald Rumsfeld is? Do you know who Donald Rumsfeld is? See? No, so tell us. Yeah, who is he? <laughs> is he? He was the Secretary of Defense uh, for, for oh, uh, of George, Bu George W. Bush's. Oh, okay. Presidency. We're really glad he wasn't a serial killer. Yeah. He, was, he was the one that invaded Iraq, so sort of. <laughs> sort of. Sort of a bad guy. <laughs> anyway, so I. Like a major <laughs> serial killer. So I went to my appointment this morning and my blood pressure was elevated and I knew sometimes I get really anxious and my blood pressure elevates so they sent me down to labor delivery did all these tests and everything was fine except for my amniotic fluid was really really low so that's why we're having a baby today not because of anything else just that she decided that she was done cooking in there and she was ready to go so we're having a baby today and I've already got my epidural I did that all by myself because Aaron, <laughs> our car's broken, so Aaron was stranded without a car, and yeah, it's been an, an interestingly dramatic day. Hopefully, that is the only dramatic part of our day, though. I'll say. Yeah. I had to get all the kids dressed by myself. <laughs> so hard. Pretty dramatic. Yeah, and then he's gonna have to go home and clean the house because I didn't get to do that yet. <laughs> and do the laundry. I didn't have any. I know. I've got laundry in the washing machine, towels and swimsuits. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it, I was not ready for this. I was planning to prepare all weekend. I gotta put the dishes in the dryer. Yeah, the dishes, there's a the, the whole sink of dishes. I gotta dishes. cook the kids' socks. Yeah, Aaron's gotta do all the things that he's not used to doing. So, what? we're having a baby today. What? Don't make it sound like I'm that. I'm just kidding. You just said you're gonna you cook the socks. That's you, not something you're used to doing, know, is cooking you, socks. You make it seem like you, you like to do those things. I do. I don't like it you when other people do them because I don't like, like the way they do, do it. I hate the way other people do my dishes. I hate the way other people do my laundry. It makes me crazy inside. <laughs> so, we're good though. We're going to have a baby. She looks healthy and I'm doing well. So, yeah. All right, you guys. This is the angle you're going to get of me <laughs> because I can't sit up or anything since I have the epidural. But it is 3.20 and I was just checked, I'm at a three plus. So I'm almost to a four, 80% of face. So we're getting there. Baby girl will be here in a couple of hours. Aaron brought the kids up to say hi, but they were so crazy. I didn't even think to vlog because they were like, Graydon was trying to play hide and seek and he was getting into everything. So we made a quick in and out with grandma and sent them on their way. But we are getting ready for baby. She'll be here in hours. Aaron, hours. Hours. It really you think so. Hours. It'll be like four hours. I'm excited. At the most. So, what's her middle name gonna be? <laughs> Omega. If I had a boy, I would go with Omega. But this is this is gonna be the thing, you guys. Omegas. We don't have a middle name yet. I have a middle name. Aaron does not. So. I have a middle name. It's not gonna be Omega. Omegers. No. <laughs> Omegers. It's a girl version. <laughs> We're not gonna name it after your grandma's dog. Meg was their dog's name. Was it? Yeah. I'll name her Indiana. All right, we're gonna have to work on that. So I'm gonna let Aaron finish writing his joke in his phone and then we're gonna hash out the baby middle name because you guys are gonna wanna know after she's born what her middle name is. And so do I, because I already know, but Aaron just has to be on board. Okay guys, it is 4.35. And they just checked me because I was feeling a lot of pressure. I went a five plus, and I'm still 80%. I feel like the I angles are so like odd. Well, it's because I'm laying down. <laughs> Anyways, I'm starting to get the shakes, which means we're getting close. So usually when I'm at about a six, which is pretty close to what I'm at, I can literally roll over and be at a 10. And she rolled me over, so we'll see. But I think this baby's going to be here by about 5.30. I give it an hour just for, like, getting the doctor in and pushing and everything. But I think we have an hour, Dad. Awesome. Oh, I, I, I'm shaking so bad. Oh. Would you like a warm blanket? Um, well, I'm loaded with blankets, but maybe in a minute. How about a courtesy Diet Coke? How about a contraction where I can feel lots of pressure? Can I get a contraction? Yeah, you got one. Do I hear a contraction? I hear one. What? what? Hallelujah. 
I don't want to push the button though because I know it's so close. Just hang tight. You're I'm a warrior. Hang, I'm hanging. It'll be worth it. It's I mean, almost it doesn't over. hurt that bad. It's just a lot of pressure. That's what is painful. For all I know, it's like, you know, the end of a race. No, for all you know, it's like a big poop that you can't get out and then it finally oh, comes. Oh, it's like that? Well, for you, probably. It's like when that you can feel like the pain's about to start, but you yeah, know like there's a big poop. Yeah, like constipated, like you've been constipated for a while. Yeah, and you're and just, you just like, know you I gotta can't get, that get big it out. Push. Yeah, it's but even though it can take it like four or five times sitting on the toilet till it comes out, that's what it feels like. Just over and over and over though. What if you like pushed really, really hard right now? Oh no, I don't want to do that because I don't want to deliver a baby without the doctor in here. I know you'd love that, but I don't want to. You uh -oh. could push out a baby like right now? I don't know if I'm at a 10 yet, but I probably could in a little bit. All right. All right. Hang on. All right, you guys, I wasn't joking. Aaron's got the camera set up for a special shot he wants to do, but they rolled me over. It is now 4.45, 10 minutes later, I'm at a 10, and we're going to have a baby. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? So is this it, Leah? This is it. We're going to have a baby. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's my, oh, sex, my second she's... biggest contribution. Yes. Do you like this apron? I want you. <laughs> Mama. Thank you. One shot wonder. It was one, one shot one kill. She's awake too. She was asleep the whole time after she was like laid on my chest and now she's waking up. This is your second eagle, if I'm not mistaken. Third. Third. Lily was two pushes. Unprecedented. Mm-hmm. Really. Leah, I need you to give me a push in here. <laughs> okay. And serious this time. <laughs> I see the head. Here we go. Ah. She's here. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Him holding the baby out. Him holding the baby out. <laughs> 
not pulling out, but afterwards. Okay, that is, this is a first for me. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Here, I'll hold this while you cut the cord. Okay, scissors and the chain. Perfect. Here you go, Dad. And thus begins the sacred hour. <laughs>